Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Ash and welcome to the Tenerife Career Mode. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like to check out any social media links or links to the previous episodes, I'll be down in the description below. So we're going to be going into a career mode with Tenerife, but it's going to be a slightly different career mode as we're going to be using only Spanish national players. As I've seen career mode similar to this by Docklanders and also by a uh, Chain Sports had the one where you could only use players from the Basque region and also a friend of mine, uh, Mark Spark, uh, also done a career mode where he, uh, with Hull where you could only use English players. So I thought I'd give it a go myself and try and make it a little bit more challenging. So we're going to go through the pre-season and all the various special bits that we have to do within this career mode. But I just thought it'd be an interesting spin on the career mode. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and look at the objectives set by our board. And as you can see, we've been asked to finish mid-table and get to the round of 32 stage of the cup, which I think are low objectives. We've also gone ahead and listed up our goalkeeper as he is the only uh, non-Spanish player we've got. We've also listed for loan our striker as he is also non-Spanish. We do go ahead and accept the loan offer from Nottingham Forest for our striker, so he will be going out of the club and then we'll sell him on in January. We move on into pre-season tournament uh, looking to try and pick up some extra funds we do end up winning this game by the scoreline of two to one so we do take a win in our first game we're going to go straight on into our second game we're going to pick up another 2-1 victory which is going to secure our progression on in the competition but we move into our third and final game of the group stages no we don't need to win but picking up a decent 3-0 win in this game and giving us all three points in a clean sweep. We move on into some training now and see some nice progress from our faceless left midfielder Padermo. So he has gone up one rating. It's time to now to move on in to the first knockout stage of the preseason tournament, and we are going to go ahead and pick up another victory, taking the lead early on and pushing through on into the final of the competition. And as we come back, we see that we have an offer for our goalkeeper from Let's see, They've offered us 1.1, but we're going to go back with 1.6, hoping that they do accept that deal. And as we move on to the final, we're going against Brescia, looking to pick up a victory, but unfortunately we're going to go ahead and lose the game on penalties, which is unfortunate. But we're going to go back into some training and get some growth from both Roberto, our goalkeeper, and Sanez, our centre-back. So some decent improvement there. As you can see, Leicester FC have accepted our negotiated deal of 1.6, so our goalkeeper will be leaving. So that means we need to go ahead and pick up another player. And the goalkeeper we want to pick up to replace him is going to be Ruben Blanco from Celta Vigo, a nice young goalkeeper with decent potential. Looking to pick him up for 1.3 million. And... As you can see, this offer has been accepted, so we will be bringing him in to the club, looking to bring him in on a contract for four years, £5,000, an informed first-team player. Move on into some training drills once again, this time seeing growth in our CDM, Alberto, who is our lowest-rated player in our current team. But we're going to go ahead and make another sign. This time it's going to be the signing of Manuel Gar Manu Garcia from Manchester City, hoping to bring him in for £1.2 million. And as you can see, Ruben Blanco has actually declined his offer. He wants a higher squad role, so we're going to offer him crucial first team players. He will be our starting goalkeeper anyway. Manchester City have accepted our offer for Manu Garcia, so we're going to go ahead and offer him a contract. Important first team player for 4K over four years. And now Ruben Blanco has accepted his contract offer, so we're going to go ahead and bring him in. Now that we've done our main set of business, we decided it was time to go ahead and get a scout. So we're going to pick up this Croatian scout here, three star, three star. Decent enough for what we need for the first season. And we're going to go ahead and send him to Spain looking for some young Spanish talent. As we go back into our inbox, we see that Manu Garcia has accept his contract so we're going to go ahead and bring him in and we've got enough funds to bring uh, to probably get our players in from our youth prob team but no more signings unless we bring in a loan signing so we go into our training once again and Sanchez has grown up once more and it's time for another training session once again this time Gonzalo is raising up to a 65 rating and in this final training session we see growth from our new goalkeeper up to a 70 rating and also our left midfielder and Manu Garcia also going up to a 67 but that's going to bring an end to this episode I hope you have enjoyed if you have drop a like until next time my name is Ashley thanks for watching and goodbye